No one in the world of sports can stop the Philadelphia Eagles at the goal line. So we have tapped into the world of science in the form of the people's astrophysicist, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Hello, Neil. Yeah, how you doing, man? It's great to see yeah, you. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for joining me in my, my cosmic enclave. It is an incredible cosmic enclave. Yeah. What's also incredible, normally you're asked, are we alone in the universe? Is time travel possible? We're asking you today about the Philadelphia Eagles. How do you feel about it? Yeah, well, I think science at its best is when it manifests within pop culture. Mm. And that way, people don't think of science as this other thing separate from their lives. Mm -hmm. They realize that science is a fundamental part of what they do, how they think, what they bet on. <laughs> so sure. why not pick up a little science along the way? Well, let's set the table with you. You're a New Yorker. Born and raised. What is your relationship with pro football? What do you feel about it? So, so I'm born in the Bronx, mm -hmm. so I'm fundamentally a Yankee fan. Okay. After that, I follow sports, but I'm not crazy fan where you lift up your shirt and you have lead words painted on yes. your... I'm not that guy. You don't have the tattoos? I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. <laughs> not even a, an Aaron Judge tattoo yet? <laughs> not, nothing like that? Not yet. <laughs> yeah, but an Achilles tendon <laughs> tattoo? You know, I, um, so I have some fluency, but it's a pop culture fluency, sure. not a rabid fan fluency. I understand. Yeah. However, doing what you do, you tune in a football game on Sunday, there's just so much physics flying around the oh field. My, What's it like oh, for you no, to watch Excuse that? me. I, I, I posted to social media the following sentence. Spin-stabilized projectiles, momentum transfer, elastic and inelastic collisions, energy, physics, and football. Mm -hmm. They're born together. That's incredible. Oh, yeah. I think there's no greater display of terrestrial physics than mm -hmm. a game of football. No kidding. Oh, yeah. Why is that? There's kinetic energy. Mm -hmm. There's potential energy. There's inertia. The only things you learn about in the first few weeks of mechanics mm -hmm. in a physics class, mm -hmm. there it is in football. Mm -hmm. And you see things like if a little person runs into a big person. <laughs> it happens all the time. <laughs> oh, or the big person runs into the little person. Yes. These, are, these are not equal outcomes uh -huh. Uh -huh. here. So you get to learn. And I, I, I always wondered, do the coaches, do the players, are they thinking about physics? Because mm -hmm. if they did, you could become a better player and even a better team. Well, this sounds great. This is the kind of stuff we have to get into. I want to make sure you know, you're speaking to an English major here. Oh, okay? I love it. I love it. Okay, so I, I didn't do Copernicus. I did Chaucer. Chaucer so I need right. you to teach me some stuff today, my friend. <laughs> we'll give you the Miller's Tale. Yes. For this. yes. Miller's Tale, my favorite tale. Yes, it's one, everyone's favorite. Tale. Um, I also want to make sure I know uh, you talked about terrestrial physics. Give me a scouting report of Neil deGrasse Tyson, the Harvard wrestler. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell us what so, he was all about. Okay, okay. You want my you want my athletic chops. Yeah. All right. Yes, I do. All right, all right. We know the fancy science. Take me back to Harvard and get okay. in that unitard and go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that first, that was 70 pounds ago. I understand. So unitards don't <laughs> port <laughs> through time that way. Uh, no, in high school I wrestled. Okay. Uh, I was captain of my team and undefeated. Mm. But it was like the Bronx High School of Science mm -hmm. in New York City, which is not a wrestling city. Sure. Okay, this is not Iowa. Any, <laughs> anywhere in Iowa, oh, yeah. okay, or Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. So when I got to college, mm -hmm. then I, we, we wrestled other teams, some from the Midwest. These are some corn-fed guys. <laughs> I don't know where they, where they bred these guys. <laughs> but, you know, I, were they hauling calves out of the yes. barn? And so I had a losing record for mm. all, I think my last year. So, but I loved the sport. Mm -hmm. So it's not, I don't, I didn't love it in high school because I was undefeated. Mm -hmm. I loved it because I loved the one-on-one -on -one contest. Mm -hmm. And if you lose, you just got beat. Mm -hmm. Somebody was bet faster, stronger, more nimble, mm -hmm. knew more moves. And that's, a, that's the purest way to lose against somebody who's just simply better than you. And so I enjoyed the contest, yes. Well, this is interesting because we're seeing this in the NFL. The Eagles will come up to the ball. Everybody knows what they're doing. They've spent all week practicing against it, and they can't stop it. You live life with people going around asking you questions about everything in the universe. I'm asking you today, can we figure out a way to stop the Eagles at the goal line? I've thought, you're talking about the tush push. Well, it's glad you mentioned that. Let's set the table with this. Do you prefer tush push or brotherly shove? So 
I don't know how many people outside of Philadelphia know that Philadelphia is the city of brotherly love. Interesting. They all know it. Yes. And then there's a sort of fall off factor as the distance increases. Go to someone in Utah. Yeah. Philadelphia, the city of, you know, I don't know what, what they're going <laughs> to say. Loudmouth fans, <laughs> cheesesteaks. <laughs> cheesesteaks. Okay. <laughs> but I don't know how widely known or embraced that can be mm -hmm. since it's a very local so comment. But the the, the, the the tush push that is so quaint and so and, and, and you get it all completely done within two syllables. <laughs> As an English major, brevity matters. Is wit. Okay. That's what they say. But we have to find out if we can stop this thing. I don't know if I have a counter to it, but okay. I can explain definitely why it works. And right next door I got a whole big like 50 inch. You got it? 80 inch, whatever. Yeah. Next door. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. We're sitting in here in, in your resident film room. We're watching the, the tush push. When you look at this, does it remind you of anything in the universe? It kind of does. There are things in the universe that have tipping points. High mass stars build elements from hydrogen up to iron. When they get to iron, they collapse and nothing can stop them until they come to a small ball and then they explode as a supernova. Mm -hmm. Supernovas occur all across the universe. When we see that about to happen, it's going. And stars even more massive than that, when they collapse, not even the explosion can save them, they collapse to a black hole. These are tipping points in the universe and that's a tipping point on the gridiron. So Neil, this is Super Bowl 57, yeah. Eagles Chiefs on the goal line. What's happening here? Yeah, so what's happening is the Eagles are about to lay down a moving carpet a moving carpet for the quarterback. Okay. So they're getting as low as possible. Now the Chiefs know that. Mm -hmm. Look at the guy right there, his mm -hmm. helmet's the lowest helmet there. Mm -hmm. But the Eagles, if you just pause for a moment right here, just pause. The Eagles have the advantage because they're hiking and no one on the Chiefs can move uh -huh. until after the Eagles move. Mm -hmm. And so the Eagles get like a quarter second head start mm -hmm. in momentum transfer, mm. okay? So the Eagles are already in motion, and look how low the helmets are. They're ready to lay down a carpet. Mm -hmm. That entire front line is attached to Earth, and they're pressing against Earth mm -hmm. the entire time, even though they're flattened, even because there's other big players on top of them. I mean, it's very impressive. These are big guys, yeah. big guys. And oh, you yeah. see these, these, these leg muscles mm -hmm. just churning through. Mm -hmm. And the evidence of that was all the turf getting mm -hmm. kicked mm -hmm. up. They're not going fast, mm -hmm. right? This is, they're going slow, mm -hmm. but the force is huge. So just watch the Eagles legs. They are constantly moving. Yes. And you see turf getting kicked up, okay? Uh -huh. They are using earth as a launch point for their movement. Mm -hmm. Not a launch point, because that implies they would lead. As a traction yes. point for everything they're about to do. In fact, if you run the math on this, yeah. every time the eagle runs this play, it slightly changes the rotation of the earth. Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more, are you just, kidding I'm me? Just, I'm just telling you. Tell me more. <laughs> uh, don't leave it okay. at that. Okay. They're changing the earth. One, one of Newton's laws yes. is for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. reaction. You cannot just propel yourself forward right. unless something comes out the other side. That's why rockets, there's always yes. rocket exhaust yes. Yes. Com coming out the other side. Yes. Because then the rocket goes this way, rock, okay, exhaust goes this way, the rocket goes that uh -huh. way. As they are digging into the earth, mm -hmm. earth is responding to them by having its rotation rate changed because they're <laughs> bracing themselves against the rotating earth. We don't think about it that way, yes. but that's exactly what's happening here. That's where they get the traction. We think about it that way now. That just blew my mind. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So now, here's the catch. Here's why this works. Yes. Okay? Because you know the quarterback is going to go over the, over the backs of his players. Sure. And you got one player on each side ready to push on a butt cheek. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Hence, the tush push. <laughs> All right. Here's what's going on. I'm on the opposing team... And you've just laid down people plowing into me. I want to jump over you. Because mm -hmm. the quarterback is ready to come over. Mm -hmm. So I jump over you. And you know what happens if you jump over? You're no longer connected to the earth. So that's a disadvantage. Yes! 
If you're not connected to the earth, you've got nothing to press against. So these guys try all the time to jump over the top. They I, should not do that? I'm saying, watch what happens if you leave the seed number 22. Yeah, one, four, watch no. what happens to him. Boom! He's just, he's, mm -hmm. he, he jumps thinking that matters. Mm -hmm. He wasn't connected to the earth. So the biggest force he can apply is his body weight. Mm. But if you're connected to the earth, these guys can bench press whatever deadlift, mm -hmm. okay? When you're bench pressing and deadlift, you're attached to the earth when mm. you're doing this, okay? So if someone is floating over the top, you can just swat them out of the way mm -hmm. if you're connected to the earth. Let's look at 22 again. Okay. He thinks he's got this. Boom, boom. Look at that. He it's, gets blasted. It gets blasted back. Yes. He's completely ineffective because all of these guys can easily just push him mm -hmm. when he is airborne. Mm. Can I show you something real quick? You want to show me yeah, a wrestling yeah, no, move? No, well, it's not the whole move. I just want to show you something. You can show me whatever you want, okay. Dr. Tyson. All right, all right. So we're here, <laughs> right, oh okay? Yep. Now I push against you. Yep. You push against me. Yep. It's Earth that enables you to do this. Obviously, if you're on ice and you try to push me, you'll just slide backwards. Sure. You need a connect. Activity point. You need the earth. Earth. Yes. Okay, so now I'm holding on to earth. Okay. So are you. Yeah. Until, mm -hmm. until, right? Until this happens. What are we doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm flying. Uh, until this happens. When this happens, you, I can do anything I want with you. All you can do is flail, okay? <laughs> I'm saying I, hi to my mom. I, I can put your back right there <laughs> if I want it. There's not, you, you got nothing. You have your body weight. This is Major Tom to ground control. <laughs> you just have all you have. So in wrestling, yeah. if someone picks you off the ground, you're going down. Yeah. Why are you out of breath? I picked you up. <laughs> I was Thornhill in that equation. Yes, I'm 22. You, yes, you were. I can do nothing. He, he, and any force against him, Oof. there's nothing he can do. Okay. So this 22, he just gets swatted away. Is that guy right there, 50? 54. Yep. He's not touching the ground. Mm -hmm. His body is useless in this. Look at that. <laughs> and my guy, 80, what is he, 89 here? Yeah. He just That's pushes him out of the way. He pushes him in the stand. That's a horizontal bench press. Mm -hmm. And you know he can bench press the body weight of these guys. Definitely. Yes. Doctor, you're bringing up weightlifting a lot, and I'm glad you are. Jalen Hurts here, number one, notoriously a very strong squatter, can squat 600 pounds, and people say, well, that's why it works no, for them. Is that true? It is irrelevant in why? this play. Really? Because he's airborne. Mm. So now watch, he's airborne because he's going over the carpet, yes. the moving carpet that just got laid for him. Uh -huh. So he could be swatted away just like everybody else, but he has tush pushers behind him. Yes. They're connected to the ground. So these guys right here, 80, yes. 35, and I, yep. okay, watch. So in comes the hike. Uh -huh. The moment he leaves the ground, he's just a, a trajectory. Now there they push, they're connected to the ground, and you can just push them through. Now we have two guys pushing one guy against whoever is in front of them. The two guys in the backfield, are they the most important part of this? Yes. Yes? The, Why? And hence the name of the play, Tush Push. Because they're actually pushing right. the Right, so push. you have two guys who can each bend press 350 sure. pounds, maybe. Definitely. Okay, so they each have one hand on one half of the quarterback. Mm -hmm. So the quarterback has his own weight, which mm -hmm. is fine, but now you have the force going forward with guys touching the ground. If there's a Kansas City Chief who's exactly opposite the quarterback, mm -hmm. who happens to jump in that moment, yes. okay, that'll delay it. Okay. <laughs> okay. But the tush pushers have an advantage. Because once you jump straight at the quarterback, you are committed to that position on the line. Mm -hmm. Whereas the tush pushers can adjust. Okay. And right. if I push you, I'm the tush pusher, yeah. and you're coming straight at me, yep. I'm, I'm going to move my quarterback two feet to the right. It's like you're driving him. You're driving him. Yes. Two feet to the right. Yes. And you're, all your momentum is here, not there. Mm -hmm. You can't sideways move mm -hmm. over and be effective at all. Once you commit, you're committed. And you're just trash thrown out the window in a play mm -hmm. like this. So I just want to make it clear. We have Earth. Mm -hmm. And then you have the Eagles football players <laughs> lined up in the stadium. All right. They're pressing against Earth. Uh -huh. OK? And one of Newton's laws is for every action, there's an equal and opposite Reaction. Reaction. So the fact that they can plow themselves forward, the fact that they can do that uh -huh. means something had to be responding to it. Okay. Otherwise, they're on ice and their feet are just slipping. Mm -hmm. All right? So let's not make it ice. Let's make it a surface of some kind. Well, that would just be friction. That helps. Mm -hmm. But they've got, 
They've got turf shoes. Yes. Okay. Cleats. Cleats. They're digging into in. the turf. Yeah. There's not friction anymore. Mm -hmm. They're attached to the earth. So they press backwards, and the response is to be propelled forwards. Mm -hmm. And that actually affects the rotation rate of the Earth. How much? No. <laughs> How much are we talking here? <laughs> They'll have to announce over the emergency broadcast system. <laughs> Eagle's about to do the tush push. Brace yourself. <laughs> it's no, perfect. Um, it, it's a calculatable amount, yes. but you, no one's going to notice it. Yes, of okay? course. But I just want you to know okay. Earth is there for everyone connected to it. Okay. Okay. The point is, if here's the ground. Yep. And you have all these guys touching the ground, mm -hmm. okay, like that. And now the quarterback is up here. Mm -hmm. There's the quarterback. And you have all these other people just trying to leave the ground and resist the quarterback. Mm -hmm. What they're trying to do is provide a force to stop this force, okay? So one, another one of Newton's laws is objects in motion tend to stay in motion mm -hmm. unless acted on by an outside force. The Eagles got first jump because the other team can't budge mm -hmm. until the hike, mm -hmm. okay? So they get a quarter second, a half second head start. But that's everything, right? Well, it's, it's a start of everything, yeah. okay? So now the opposing team, in this case the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, they have to not only slow down the motion that has already started, they have to stop it and reverse it. Mm. So, so if, if you have an equal force, that'll just kind of stop it. But now you need a higher force to send them back, and they have to get up to that higher force after they have already started plowing. Mm -hmm. And once I'm plowing, what are you gonna do? And I'm lower than you, mm -hmm. okay? Now, <laughs> I, if I'm so low that I get under you, then you're just in the air, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm under your front line here. Yes. If you are not connected to the earth anymore, then all you have is your body weight. Mm. What these guys weigh, 250 maybe? Some of them. I could bench 250. Okay? Still? No. <laughs> 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 so Newton's has three laws, mm -hmm. okay? One is action, reaction. Yep. Second law is the famous equation, force. Equals mass. Equals the mass times the acceleration. Okay. So the higher the mass that you're trying to press against, uh -huh. the bigger the force you need in order to create an acceleration. Acceleration is a change of your position or of your speed, okay? Sure. So, if you're attached to the Earth, yes. the Earth is part of your mass. Remind me the mass of the Earth. I know you know these things. What, calculate it. Uh, let me, give me a second. There he goes. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> huge. Big ass Earth, would it, you say? It is huge. I like it. His ability to move forward, is now connected to the fact that two of his players are attached to the Earth and no one else airborne stands a chance. Incredible film session. I'm yeah. exhausted. How do you feel? Yeah, I, I hurt. <laughs> <laughs> science hurts it's sometimes. It's like, get off of me. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so all of us, we went through high school science. Remember, you, you would try to come to a conclusion at the end of the experiment. Dr. Tyson, do you have a conclusion? Yeah, I'm going to say the obvious. Okay. That is an extremely effective play. And I heard rumor that NFL might want to ban it. Mm -hmm. If people are not getting injured in it, then you're going to ban it because a team is so good? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. If Michael Jordan was 95% hits his field goal at, at one spot on the court, you say, you are banned from that area, Michael Jordan. No, mm -hmm. you celebrate mm -hmm. that the ingenuity, the physical prowess of a team, of a player, uh, of, of a coach, has risen above the din of other efforts to accomplish the same thing, and now you want to penalize that? Th that's wrong. So, so, plus, any other team can try it. Mm -hmm. And if they're not as good as the Philadelphia Eagles, that's their problem. Mm -hmm. That's not the problem of the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, to cap this off, I, I've thought long and hard about whether you can defend against that. Mm -hmm. And I haven't come up with, I, I, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. It might be the true, we've heard metaphorically, what wins, the immovable object or the irresistible force? Correct. I always 
was in the camp of the irresistible force. Why is that? Because you want to be a, a person of action. <laughs> you don't want to say, oh, you can't move me. Yes, I can. <laughs> no, I mean, you want to be, I think you want to be the force. Mm -hmm. But here's a case where, yeah, it is a genuinely irresistible force. Mm -hmm. And these are big guys on the line, but they figured out how to apply physics. Whether or not the physics was explicit, mm -hmm. it's definitely implicit in what they're doing. And as a scientist, as a person whose degrees are in physics and astrophysics, when I see physics applied in our world mm -hmm. to the greater benefit of who's doing it, provided no one gets hurt, mm -hmm. I'm all in. Eagles take it, take it to the all well, the way. Take it to the trophy. Unbelievable. This man has devoted his life to answering the most difficult questions in the universe. And his answer to how do you stop the tush push? I don't <laughs> know. I don't. <laughs> it's incredible. Good luck, fellas. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you at the goal line. <laughs>